Hi, Don Don here at DG Recruit. I wanted to share with you a few tips when it comes to investing as a recruiter. Now, many of us that go into recruitment, we may not be born into wealth because obviously this business is all about being hungry for money. If you're really, really rich and your parents are bajillionaires, it's unlikely that you're gonna do recruitment long-term because the drive just isn't there to make as much money as possible. So what's very normal is a lot of people that do really, really, really well in recruitment, they may not have any guidance on investing because they may have parents like mine who are middle class who never really understood the different tools available and the different investment philosophies out there. So a lot of people, when they start with investing, they just think about the major kind of big ones, which are like mutual funds or like getting a financial advisor. All is fine with that. Like totally go for it, right? Because financial advisors, they have their usages, they have their um, supports. And uh, of course, it's a great business that it's better than doing nothing is the way to think about it, right? So of course, financial advising is sort of like the baseline, but you really do still need to know all the different um, potential opportunities and specifically for recruiters i think what's a very powerful financial investment opportunity is actually real estate so a lot of you may know i own a, quite a few properties and i've been in the recruiting sorry <laughs> real estate game since i was 25 as a three-year recruiter i had saved up enough money in recruitment to then start using it in terms of paying for down payments on homes I started off with condo investing, then I got into single families and multifamilies, and I did my first 31, 1031 exchange when I was 28, and that was also when I was just leaving recruiting to start my own thing, because I had started to see so much success with investing that I felt free to leave my full-time recruitment job. And of course, now as a recruiter, as an investor, as a business owner in recruitment, I get to have the best of both worlds, which is do what I love, which is recruiting. That's my number one love. And then also take that money smartly and use the free time I have as a more independent kind of control my own time kind of gig. I can now put that money into real estate. So I think for a lot of people tuning in, you may be someone who is still working that nine to five, um, who still has a recruiting job, which is fantastic, by the way, don't get me wrong. Running a recruitment job with really awesome managers who let you manage your own time and who trust you, that's key. That's awesome because working a recruiting job is very simple. It's a lot better than running your own recruitment agency. So I'm not saying here, oh, you need to run your own agency. I'm saying you need to find a recruitment agency that will allow top billers to be in control of their time and energy because that's the best way to do it. If I'm a business owner and I got a top producer, I'm not gonna make them come to the office at eight o'clock and leave at seven. They're my golden goose. I'm gonna do whatever they want to do. If they wanna take Fridays off, be my guest. Whatever I need to do to keep you happy so that you don't leave my organization. So that's another tidbit here too. If you're a business owner or you're a recruiter that wants to have more time and control, talk to my team and I at DG Recruit because clearly you're working at a micromanaging environment, which is unfair if you're actually a top producer. If you're a top producer, the rules don't apply. The general rules don't apply. Maybe everybody else needs to come in at eight and leave at seven because their business is going into the dumpster, but yours is flourishing. So why should you have to work these stupid hours when really you deserve so much more, right? And that's the beauty of knowing people like myself. We can hook you up with companies who get it and who will help you work in a more entrepreneurial environment because that's the best. I genuinely love the setup I have now, which is I still have to do recruiting. I still have a lot of work to do. I still have a lot of tasks on my plate, but I get to be in control of my own time, which allows me to then invest and learn and really do the things that I want to protect myself financially. As we all know, in recruiting, none of us get these beautiful 401k matches or crazy benefits or amazing health insurance. You know, none of us get that. So what we need is to use our money, money smartly and invest it smartly so that we create our own retirement plan. And that's the whole point of getting educated, getting exposure, really thinking outside the box. So I'm going to leave you with a couple tips. The first tip I'm going to tell you is learn to use debt. So a lot of people in recruiting, again, we come from middle class families. That's my dog baby over there. Um, she's getting bored. So we come from middle class families and what do middle class families do? Well, first of all, middle class families hate using debt. They don't understand it. They don't know what to do with it. They will never really understand this mechanism. So it's crucial for you to start learning it. And my first tip, especially right now, maybe it's too late, you should go get a personal credit line. 
right? You should always have a backup debt device that will take care of you in case you run out of cash money. And that might happen as a recruiter. You might overextend yourself. So never ever think that everything's stable and that you get this like guaranteed a job because we don't. We're totally built on um, sort of survival. We're built on long-term winning, not short-term winning. Right. So keep that in mind. Learn how to use debt. Talk to um, read books about this. You can Google Investopedia. You can read, uh, I would say, the best book that teaches you not to be afraid of debt is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. One of the classics of personal development and financial management and truly understanding what, um, you know, being an entrepreneur really actually means beyond just being an employee working an entrepreneurial job like ours, which you can argue, of course, it's a very entrepreneurial job. Recruitment is very entrepreneurial by nature. Number two, my suggestion is to actually spend time in your free time to prioritize financial education. A lot of recruiters that I know did not do what I did, which is go to the library every weekend and stop partying. I stopped partying pretty early on because I really knew that I was here to build my career and build my financial life. I had a goal of mine. I wanted to be a millionaire by the time I was 30. That was my goal. I read a book about it once and there was this random dude who achieved it and I was like, I cannot imagine him to be more exceptional than I am. I can do the same thing. I had the same goal in mind. So with that goal in mind, I started doing a lot of research. Investopedia is a great website. Investopedia, uh, businesses like bankrates.com. It's just good to just start understanding all these different tools out there. Start reading. Google is your best friend here. Do the work. Study these terms. If by this age you don't know what an IRA is, you don't know what a, a Roth means, you don't understand what um, you know CDs are, you don't know the difference between an ETF, a REIT, a REIT, or a uh, mutual fund. If you don't know what these things are, then you're in trouble. You're a grown person now, especially a lot of people tuning in. They're in their 20s. You know, back in the day, we were grown by that age. Today, again, it's just a slow maturity rate, right? Our parents aren't going to teach us this stuff. We got to figure it out ourselves, just like I had to do. My parents didn't teach me any of these terms. All I did was just Google it and read and study it in the free time. Last note is try to focus on thinking about investing and saving, you know, putting aside the money to start doing this. Think about alternative investments like cryptocurrency, right? That's a huge, huge, huge uh, push forward. So I'd leave you with that note. Um, feel free to shout me out. Feel free to message me on LinkedIn. Send me an email, contact at dgrecruit.com. Get in touch with me and my team. We love to network with you. If you're a recruiter that's looking out for your future, looking to maximize your career and your money, get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you.